Hi everyone. Okay, so now we're going to be making our crazy art using wind. Remember we're learning about wind this week in IEYC. And so we're going to be making that picture I showed you of the boy or the girl with the really crazy hair. All right, and we're going to be making our crazy hair with paint. So follow me and I'll show you how we're going to make this happen. All right, let's go. So these are the materials that you need. You need your cardboard and your little white paper. All right, so white paper is just a flimsy paper, but the cardboard is a bit thicker. You need your pencil, your eraser. You need your scissors. You need some water and paint. You also need some tissue and, of course, your color pencils. But there's also something really special I want to show you. You can use a straw for this, but uh, if you want something a bit harder, I took a pen and I removed the ink part inside. I'm going to use it to be blowing my paint around okay now i'm going to be putting a little water in my paint just a little i don't want it watery it's not going to look too nice if it's too watery and i also don't want it too thick it won't blow easily if it's too thick so i've put blobs of the paint i've just put i put a little water in it to make it a little watery and then i put the blobs on my paper the next thing i'm going to do is take my straw or my pen container and I'm going to begin to blow the paint. So I'll just do one and then I'll stop the video and um, do the rest. Okay, so here we go. I hope it works. Yay, it's working. So you blow wind through the pen. Yay. So let's do everything and then we will stop. There, I've blown mine. Looks really nice. So you can actually leave this as it is, or you can finish it up with the face if you want to. I think I want to do another one just to see what it looks like. Maybe that one can come out looking a bit different. Don't forget when you're blowing it, blow the colors into each other, mix everything together. There, I did a second one, and I think this one looks a bit more than hair. So you keep this one by the side to dry. So the next thing I did, I took an A4 piece of paper, the piece of paper I told you about, and I folded it into two. Now I'm gonna draw the face of the person on my paper. Remember, this is the art that we're doing. So you can do all sorts of faces. You could do that scary face, you could do a smiley face. So I've done some, so I'm just gonna show you quickly the one I did. I decided to do one scared face and one happy smiley face. So you can draw it anyhow you want. You can make one a girl, you can make a boy, you can do as many as you want. So I'm going to color mine now and then I'm going to show you what to do next, okay? So there's my boy. I've colored him <laughs> really nice. Do, 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 do. Oh, but I made his eyes purple because I just to add some little interesting features to him. And uh, when you're coloring the shirt, try not to make it too many colors because remember his hair is going to be a lot of colors. So just keep it to one color. So I gave him a black t-shirt. Then for my girl, I gave her green eyes. Really nice. Do, 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 do. And I gave her a red shirt with nice little color, flower petal color. All right, now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use my black marker, my black pen, and I'm going to outline it. If you don't have a black marker or a black pen, you can use mommy's or daddy's ink, okay? And then just outline it really nicely, the way Ms. Atiyah would usually show you before you cut it out, all right? Oops, I think I forgot. I forgot to color her earring. Let's leave it white because remember her hair is going to be everywhere and if I color it, it can just, you know, blend into the hair. So I'm just going to leave her earring white. So there, I've colored the boy and I've outlined him nicely with my black pen. So it just pops out all the colors. And don't forget the inside of his mouth is black. And I've done the same thing to my girl. I've outlined, I've outlined it and so it looks really nice. And now we're ready to cut them out and stick them on our hair our crazy wind hair Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> they look really interesting and then for the eyes i've used the tipex to put a little white dot in the black part of the eye just to make it look a little more real yeah so cutting time so there it is i've done my cutouts i've cut them out of the paper 
and I'm ready to stick them on. My splashy work is already done. My wind colors are already done. So all I just had to do is to place them on top of my paper. There it is, all stuck and looking very, very interesting. Now you can actually leave it like this as a finished work. You could actually even outline the hair if you want to with your black marker, or you can add details with my magic go-to tool. I always love to use my Tipex. Tipex is just like a magic tool. I really, really love it. So I'm just gonna put some Tipex on the hair to make it look really Okay, all done. Now with your cutter and your ruler, I'm just gonna trim the edges of my picture to make it nice and neat and then I'll stick it on a black cardboard just, just to give it an extra presentation, make it look nice and ready. You can get an adult to do this for you because the cutter may not be very safe 